Hello everyone and welcome to my video tutorial. My name is Omotayo. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to convert your Microsoft Office Word document to CBT. In my previous tutorials, I've shown you how to convert your PDF document to CBT, how to create your new CBT project, how to open existing project and so on. I've also explained what Avalanche Flex is. You can check the link below to get those videos. In this tutorial, like I said earlier, I'll be showing you how to convert your Microsoft Office Word document to CBT. And the tool I'll be using to, to do this is the Avalanche Flex Exam Loader I've been using if you've been following my previous video tutorials. Very fast, without further ado, if you have the Avalanche Flex Exam Loader installed on your computer, you should have the icon on your desktop and we can you can click it so that we can get started very briefly what again is avalanche flex avalanche flex is a software suite that has been designed to enable you create your cbt examinations yourself be it a secondary school a primary school tertiary institutions like universities polytechnics colleges of education so far what you want is to create your custom CBT examination yourself then <clears throat> Avalanche Flex is your friend. The Avalanche Flex exam loader is just one of the sub software embedded in Avalanche Flex. Like you can see on my desktop here, we still have the Avalanche Flex client and the Avalanche Flex servant. With these three components, you can create your own custom CBT examination and your students will be able to take it. If you want to download this software, you go to www.avalanchenigeria.com forward slash download. Very quickly to the purpose of this tutorial, which is to show you how to convert your Microsoft Office Word document to CBT. We'll be clicking on this option for this tutorial. The next thing to do now is to locate where you have the Microsoft Office Word document you wish to convert to CBT. Um, I have it here on my desktop, which is this. Just click on the, the document and click on. The next thing to do is to navigate your mouse to import, which is where we have the imported file, which is the Microsoft Office Word document being loaded and being ready to be transformed to CBT. While it's loading, I have to tell you that for you to convert your Word document to CBT using this software, it must follow a format. And the format is what I'll be showing you here. If you look at my right hand side, you see so many group of questions. Each G stands for a group of questions. You could see so many group of questions. And the reason why we have this is because the, the uh, Microsoft Office Word document is not in its correct format. And that is what we will do right now. We will make sure it's in the correct format. And when we have it in the correct format, we would realize and we would observe that all the G's we have here will be taken away and what we have will only be a group of questions where all these questions we have on our left hand side will be embedded in so very fast let us correctly format our microsoft office word document and what i'll be doing is to remove the spaces in between the options and the next question and the options and so on let me show you just eat just remove the spaces initially I wanted to show you with 20 questions but for the sake of simplicity I'm just going to delete all these other questions we have here having ensured that you have the, your answers in the correct format the next thing for us to do 
is to run the flex wizard with which is this icon i have here and what this flex wizard does is to make all these questions we have here into a group of questions so instead of having so many group of questions because of the wrong formatting of our questions we only have one g and then we have all these questions embedded in it let's see what i mean so we just click on this run flex wizard and then we see what happens yeah as i said you can see that we only have one g now which means a group of questions and if we collapse this arrow we'll see that the five questions we created are now here and now right here in the group of questions if you also collapse the arrow for each question you see the options embedded in it wow isn't that cool now what we have to do is to upload our answers to upload our answers imagine you having like 200 when you don't upload your answers what that translates to the effect of that the consequence of that is that you have to manually choose your answers in the design mode which we would get to very soon but to save us all the stress to choose our correct answers one by one we could just upload the answers by clicking on this upload answers options here and then we can paste our answers here already i have my answer on a notepad i'm just going to copy it and paste and there we go but before we go i want you to take cognizance of this very important thing as for the answers to it has to be in a particular format which is the question number and the answer but after the answers we should put a full stop immediately after it like i'm doing right now if we do not do that our answers will not be uploaded after making sure that you have the answers in the correct format what we have to do now is to run the flex wizard and see it upload our answers amazing can you see what i'm saying all the answers we just pasted now has been uploaded in our questions and for each question we have the correct answer already wow we are almost done what we have to do now is to import our group of questions to flex and make some um, necessary corrections we want to make we can see that the five questions we created are now here in our design mode if you click on number one you can see for the question number one we have it here already and one more thing if we check the options we would notice that the correct answers have been uploaded for each of the questions for number three we have the correct um option to be d and that is because we had pasted it and then it has uploaded it for us the flex reason finally we just want to check preview to see how the questions will look like to the students taking the examination have a question here and say your your student takes the examination immediately after the examination they can even get their results if you wish it to be so the purpose of uploading the answer is in the first place is for the software to grade the examination immediately after they submit and this saves you a lot of stress of having to manually mark or checking it one by one it has all been catered for by this amazing software and then if you check the answers you see that they have been uploaded and like i said the purpose of this is just so that avalanche flex immediately grades the students as soon as they are done with the examination wow in this tutorial i've been able to show you how to convert your microsoft office word document to cbt i hope you've been informed to have this awesome experience of of creating your own CBT questions yourself, of converting your Microsoft Word documents to CBT, 
your PDF development, CBT, setting any custom CBT examination you want. All you have to do is download this software, Avalanche Felix, and then you can get going. You can also score, subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more videos on how to go about creating your CBT question and setting up the environment. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.